Hello everybody, Mark Newman here, Hamilton Community News. We're on Concession Street with Kyle Jodick, an Indigenous artist. Kyle, welcome. Tell Thank us a little bit about your background. Uh, so I am, as you said, an Indigenous artist uh, living in uh, Hamilton, Ontario here. Um, I grew up in Caledonia, just outside of Six Nations Reserve, where um, the Indigenous half of my family lives. And um, yeah, I've been, I've been happy to call Hamilton home and to have this opportunity to create and you know put Indigenous art and stories right in the forefront right now is really important. And Kyle, you've created this amazing mural and it's located at 576 Concession Street for the folks who want to know. Yep. Kyle, maybe you can uh, tell us about uh, how you got to get this mural going. Um, well, I was directly contacted by the Concession Street BIA uh, within the last month or so because um, they were looking to do a, a refresh job on this mural here. Um, and I, I jumped on the opportunity because this is the largest scale project that I have worked on in my short career. And uh, yeah, I'm just incredibly grateful for this opportunity. And we've just gone past the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Yep. I guess the timing is pretty good too because it keeps the message out there Absolutely. amongst the public, right? Absolutely. And um, I mean, and that, that, that's just really the sort of representation that we need right now because for a lot of people who are non-Indigenous and also the Indigenous community as well, there's sometimes just not a lot of resources for gaining our education or finding a way to connect with our identity and for me that's been the major point of creating this art is for me to be able to find my identity through it as well. Okay Kyle let's take a walk down the uh, the mural here and you can explain what's going on okay. shall we? So to uh, be give a better explanation of what the actual mural itself is depicting, uh, I'm going to give a brief rundown of uh, each individual uh, piece of the whole. So to start at the very end of the teachings here, going in reverse, uh, here is the image of a turtle and in association with the seven grandfather teachings, the turtle represents truth, uh, which is sort of an all-encompassing all idea based on the rest of the um, the rest of the teachings in progression. Um, the turtle is also an incredibly important figure in Haudenosaunee and all, I would say all, all indigenous uh, cultures as it is a representation of the connection to Mother Earth as the turtle in many creation stories was what gave birth to the land itself. Uh, so moving on down here, next we have uh, the wolf and the wolf teaches us the lesson of humility and I guess to boil that down into a very simple explanation is just a, a, a caring and empathy for your other your other community members and the other humans on this earth that we that we share the land with. Um, and it, honestly, in in, the, in this atmosphere, I think right now the lesson of humility is probably one of the most important from from the teachings. Moving down the line here, we are brought to the beaver. Uh, and the beaver brings with it the teaching of wisdom. Um, now this is, this is sort of speaking to a wisdom and knowledge of self which is incredibly important as well because to truly embody any of these teachings it is incredibly important to be at peace and understanding with oneself as well. Next up, um, this is probably my personal favorite figure out of the teachings. Um, this is the Saab, Saab, uh, or in um, so somewhat more literal terms, is a sas Sasquatch figure. Not in the literal description, uh, but it's more of a spiritual representation of one's complete connectivity to nature and the cycles of uh, plant life, animal life, and how that relates back to the community and how we, as a people, traditionally use those um, resources. Next up we have the bear. Uh, the teaching of the bear is courage. And why I think the bear is the best representation of a concept of courage is in nature, a mother bear is one of the most ferocious fighters and also the, one of the most protective animals in the, in the kingdom. And, and that really comes down to uh, having having courage within yourself to be able to stand up for in your community for what's right and what's wrong and 
also just to just to help give back to yourself because in in life we need a lot of courage and also right now as an indigenous population we need a lot of courage to get through the discoveries that are happening you know almost monthly right now um so to continue on here uh the next lesson is brought to us by the eagle the spirit of the eagle uh and this is the teaching of love um and as as i spoke on before this this does speak very much to a love and appreciation for oneself uh, as cliche as it sounds if you can't love yourself then how can you love anybody else right so that that is the the general breakdown of that teaching and it's it uh, excuse me um all of these teachings have a very strong connection to indigenous community and uh and the family um this like the spirit of family and how strong the connection is and ties are in that uh so next one this is the first of the teachings as we're going from last to the beginning uh and this is the buffalo and it brings with it the teaching of respect uh the buffalo in indigenous culture is incredibly important as it gave our communities food shelter clothing everything it the buffalo gave itself up to our people in order for us to be able to thrive in on our lands and that is the sort of respect that we need to be able to put back into the 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 earth as as we you know take from it um at, also at the very very beginning as this is a an oral or oral story that i am conveying visually um the unfinished figure up there is just a a person kneeling in prayer to the creator for the guidance in life and also for the reception of these teachings Kyle Jodick thank you for your time it's been fascinating you're very welcome for Hamilton Community News I'm Mark Newman